Furniture of Marquette. Sunshine by the afternoon hours across upper Michigan and temperatures actually away from Lake Superior weren't too bad today. And as we look at our radar and satellite, you can see yesterday's rains have moved off to the east across the northeastern United States and into eastern Canada. High pressure building into our area and that means dry conditions. And the rivers need this because the rivers are running high across the UP. We'll start you out west and move you to the east. So we'll go from west to east. Flood warning continues for the Black River in Gogebic County. We do have a flood advisory for the western branch of the Ontonagon River. And for the middle branch of the Ontonagon River, we do have a flood warning that is in effect. For the Keweenaw Peninsula, its flood advisory is in effect for the Trap Rock River near Lake Linden. And then for the Sturgeon River south of Houghton, we do have flood warnings that are in effect as we take you to the central UP and along M95. This seems to be where the highest river levels are for the Michigami River from Republic back towards Floodwood. And then we do have a uh, excuse me, a flood warning that does continue for the Michigami River east of Crystal Falls there right along M69. And then we also have a flood warning that is in effect for the Paint River at Crystal Falls as well. And then also a flood warning for the middle branch of the Escanaba River at Humboldt. Eastward we go actually southward first. Flood warnings are in effect for the Menominee River from Iron Mountain over towards Quinnisec and then right there on the Michigan Wisconsin border through Menominee County. We do have a flood warning that is in effect. Also a flood warning for the Brule River west of Iron Mountain. Now we go eastward here and these are flood advisories for the Taquanaman River near Paradise in eastern Luce County and we also have a flood advisory for the Manistique River there, and we also have a flood advisory for the Sturgeon River near Nema Junction. So as we look at our temperature map here, no big rains are in our forecast, at least through the next five days or big snows. Hopefully we're done with big snows for the year, but as we look at our temperatures here, they'll be cold tonight, dropping back into the 20s, but look at Wednesday into the 60s. We go central and west, and then for Thursday, maybe a rain shower early, but nothing heavy. But after the rain shower chance on Thursday, temperatures bounce back nicely into the 60s, but it might be locally colder near some shorelines of the Great Lakes, depending on the wind direction. As we look at our forecast for the next seven days, a rain chance late Wednesday and into early Thursday. Otherwise, we're looking at dry conditions through the weekend. Here's the deal for the weekend, though. We were looking at a storm system to either bring us rain or snow for Saturday and Sunday. Middle range weather models have trended that southward, but any trend northward were fair game once again for rain or snow. No Saturday or Sunday, but as of now, we're looking at dry conditions for Saturday and Sunday, but with a northerly wind on the back side of that storm system or the, on the north part of that storm system where we are for the weekend, it's still going to remain on the cold side. And in fact, Saturday, we're still looking at temperatures that may not get out of the 30s in some spots, but it will be dry. Another note, we're looking at gusty winds for Wednesday, but it'll be a mild wind away from Lake Michigan and then a chilly gustier wind on Friday with wind gusts that could be over 20 miles per hour. But the good news in this seven day no significant rains are in the forecast or